What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and with Zack Snyder's Justice League being such a huge success on HBO Max, the critics liked it, the audiences absolutely loved this movie, and it is currently dominating the streaming services. You would think that Warner Brothers would have an easy decision on their hands, including all of the other projects they have going forward, you'd think that they would do exactly what so many fans are asking for, restore the Snyderverse. But it is very clear that some people at Warner Brothers, and even some people at Warner Media, want to do the opposite. They want to forget about the Snyder Cut, and they want their audiences to stop asking for more of Zack Snyder's vision. But it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon, as the fans are very committed to getting what they want. And some people who work at Warner Brothers, who are employed by Warner Brothers, and have a lot of pull in Hollywood, want to restore the Snyderverse as well. According to some reports, The Rock is a big fan of Zack Snyder's Justice League, he's a big fan of Henry Cavill as Superman, and he wants to restore the Snyderverse. Take a look at this headline. Dwayne Johnson's fight with Warner Media to restore the Snyderverse. Now, this is coming from smallscreen.com slash UK. Um, I've also seen a report from Geekosity as well saying something very similar from a little bit different perspective. But uh, again, these are just rumors right now, but I wanted to talk about it because with the connections between, you know, The Rock's ex-wife and Henry Cavill's agent and the fact that Henry, uh, that The Rock has been very forthright about the fact that he wants to face off against Henry Cavill's Superman, a lot of this stuff kind of makes sense. And honestly, we know what he thought about Zack Snyder's Justice League. It makes sense that he would want his movie to tie into that rather than everything else with the Joss Whedon cut of Justice League. Let's read this article. A lot of people have been asking me, is there any hope to restore the Snyderverse at Warner Media? And let me tell you, there is. He's called Dwayne The Rock Johnson. As Aaron Eckhart's Harvey Dent once said, the night is darkest before the dawn, and I'm thinking the dawn isn't too far off now. It seems as though the dawn is coming in the form of The Rock, a.k.a. Dwayne Johnson. Now, I know what many of you have heard before, but I wanted to explain to you what's going on inside Warner Media and what Johnson is pushing for. Dwayne Johnson is easily one of the biggest names in Hollywood right now. It was a huge coup for Warner Media and Warner Brothers when they managed to secure him as Black Adam, and it was. That was announced forever ago, back in 2014, yet they're only just now starting filming this movie. That is a, a constant problem with Warner Brothers. We saw that with the Flash movie, it's been in production hell as well. It's finally starting to take off the ground, and The Rock himself announced this release date. Black Adam is coming July 29th, 2022 and then he adds this the hierarchy of power in the dc universe is about to change and that is the quote that had a lot of people asking this question he revealed the new release date via his instagram account and added the caption just like i said there's also an interesting bit in that caption the hierarchy of power in the dc universe is about to change um this is from Sill, actually. He gets quoted in this article. Hell yeah, maybe The Rock can make some sense out of Warner Brothers or out of this Warner Brothers BS. Restore the Snyderverse. This is hinting at what might happen in the movie. Black Adam has been portrayed as both a hero and an anti villain. Sorry, a villain and an anti hero in the comics. I've been hearing that Dwayne Johnson's version will lean more onto this side of the anti-hero in this film. It's going to be directed by, I don't know how to pronounce that name, and they've already had a very impressive cast. Um, they talk about the cast. Yet, there's one name Dwayne Johnson really wants in the film, and that's Henry Cavill. I've been told, and it's been previously reported by other outlets, that Johnson is very keen on the idea of having Henry Cavill play Superman in the movie. And again, like I said, I think Mikey Sutton, yeah, he does have this right? He has these dudes hanging out, this picture that was on Instagram forever ago. They are bros. I've heard they've even trained together. Uh, they have the same agent who was the Rock's ex-wife. I've been told that they want Henry Cavill. He's a big fan of the British actor, actor and loves his take on Superman. He's also a big fan of the Zack Snyder movies, especially Zack Snyder's Justice League. Restore the Snyderverse, Warner Media. Um, I was told, this is, this is what he's saying. I was told Johnson loved Zack Snyder's Justice League. He sat down, watched all four hours in the film. Dwayne Johnson texted his team and said, we need Henry in our movie. We need the Snyderverse. That is what is being alleged here. Again, Mikey Sutton is claiming very similar things. And in fact, Mikey Sutton says that he doesn't just want Henry Cavill. He wants to fight the Justice League. That's what Mikey Sutton is saying for Geekosity, that he wants Zack Snyder's Justice League in the Black Adam sequel movie, which would come obviously after Black Adam, a long way out, but still the Snyderverse. 
He feels his version of Black Adam would only be properly served in the Snyderverse if the Snyderverse was still a thing. Johnson loved the movie, but he also loves all the actors involved. And he was even told he's a big fan of Jeremy Irons. And listen, do I believe this report? I don't know. I'm not sure if I completely believe it. It's this small screen UK, all right? Uh, Geekosity has had a couple things that have definitely proven true in the past as well. Um, right now, I would definitely put this in the category of, you know, very much a rumor. But when you look at these numbers, man, when you look at these numbers, Samba TV, Samba TV is an app that is on some TVs. It's not on all TVs by any stretch of the imagination, but the TVs that it is on, it tracks the usage of different apps. When you look at what the Snyder Cut did, in the UK alone, almost a million people, a million households tuning in to watch Zack Snyder's Justice League over that premiere weekend. WandaVision, when they did their debut, their two episode debut, had a quarter of a million people. It is pulling four times the number that WandaVision did on something like Disney+. Plus. That is meaningful. That means something. That tells you that there's really something there with Zack Snyder's Justice League. I talked about earlier today, you have these numbers. The downloads, the downloads spiked over 60% for HBO Max because that's how many people were downloading this thing, trying to get their hands and trying to get their eyes on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Look at the app sessions. Over, well, almost twice the amount of people launched HBO Max that launched Disney Plus over the last week. That's in the second week of Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's with a new episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier on Disney Plus. They are dominated in streaming right now due to Zack Snyder and the Snyder Cut. And if they ignore that, if they let that go to waste, it is completely on them. We've seen Warner Brothers do this over and over again. These bad decisions that they have made. Reportedly... Dwayne The Rock Johnson wants to restore the Snyderverse, and if that is true, they should fucking do it. They have a big name who wants to have his name on the DC Universe. He wants it to be massive, he wants it to be big, and he knows that the best way for it to go forward is with Zack Snyder's Justice League with the Snyderverse. That makes a whole lot of sense to nearly everyone involved. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Again, I definitely put this in the category of rumor, but at the same time, it sounds pretty believable, doesn't it? Let me know your thoughts. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.